The only way to be on a rock in the middle of the Pacific together is to show each other respect. We're just a part of this world. We're not the masters of it. The way I've become involved in the whole shark world is really naturally through spearfishing. Through this experience-based knowledge of sharks, I really got into doing shark conservation work and helping the scientific community with shark tagging projects. To center myself, I need raw, natural experiences. And I like animals like sharks. It's cut and dry, it's physical, it's, it's not sugar-coated, it's nature. French Polynesia has a crazy amount of sharks. And I think one of the reasons why it's unique is that the Tahitian culture has always really respected sharks. Shark here in French Polynesia, it's something, it's like pets. We have sharks everywhere. All the Tahitian people have a lot of respect with sharks. They don't kill them, they don't eat them. It's our daily life in the ocean with the sharks, and they're beautiful. Hey, so, hey, so when, you're, when you're fishing here, do you lose a lot of fish to the sharks? Uh, sometimes yes, sometimes no. It depends on the day. Yeah. Sometimes many sharks, sometimes no sharks. How do you feel when you lose fish to the sharks? <laughs> uh, it's, uh, it's okay because uh, it's, it's, uh, it's uh, our home, so they take the, the fish. It's always, uh, the nature. Yeah. So. Yep. Got to give some back anyways. Huh? Okay. It's pretty interesting because I've dove so much in French Polynesia before and have never run, in, run into a tiger shark. And at home in Hawaii, it's like, you know, it happens a bit. And I've always heard these stories of the tiger sharks around here, but you know, I'm excited to hopefully see one today. About three meter and a half. Ten feet? Twelve feet? <laughs> Pretty big. With a camera, we have yeah. two lasers. You know, two, two lasers, and like that, we can know exactly the size of the shark. And this one is uh, four meters point fifteen centimeters. So, in uh, US feet, it's uh, thirteen point six feet. That tiger shark that we saw was one of probably top three biggest tigers I've ever seen in the water in my life. It was absolutely humongous. It's not so much the length, it's the mass. The amount of flesh that are on these things and the inertia that they have moving through the water with all that weight. It, it seems like they're moving effortlessly, but they're really going pretty fast. It's just a lot of energy moving at you. It's almost like having a cement mixer that whose brakes went out. It wasn't that long ago that anytime anybody saw a shark, they were like, it almost attacked me or chased me out of the water. But really, a shark just showed up and they saw it 
and they ran out of the water. <laughs> it's just a good feeling, you know, to be part of this world and not being the master of it. We're not controlling planet Earth. We can't control the ocean and, it's, it's, and it feels good actually to be part of it, not being the number one with power. We as humans have the capability of complex thought. So it's on our shoulders to show respect and patience when it comes to handling sharks. Because they can't do that to us. <laughs> They're animals. So like moving forward, how, how would you kind of connect all of this? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> <laughs> I'm really trying to take a unflinching look at the connections that I have to this world and the connections that everything has to each other. Part of respect is realistically knowing your place. We're just a part of this world. We're not the masters of it. We need to keep in mind that we're just little specks on a great big blue marble. <laughs>